All right. What we have here is um, I'm going to show some various examples of how to set up different optimization problems um, that you would see in a normal calculus class. Uh, the first one is um, one that I have on a sheet where a particle moves from 0, 1 to the right following the path of f of x equals e to the x over 2 power. What are the coordinates of the particle when its distance to the point 2, 0 or at it, its minimum? All right. What we're doing is we start, a particle moves from 0, 1 to the right. So if we want to graph this, all right, we have an exponential function. All right, we plug that in there. We have e to the 0, so 0, 1, okay? And what we know is that this function right here is going to be exponentially increasing, all right? Exponentially increasing. So what we have is um, this going up like so, and that's what we have, all right? Exponential function. Now, what are the coordinates of the particle when its distance to the point is at a minimum? So we're going to start at 2, 0, all right? 2, 0. We're going to try to figure out a point on here. Now, this point can change, all right, all along this axis. We're trying to figure out where it, it will have a minimum distance, okay, minimum distance from the point 2, 0 that we have here, okay? So in order to figure out the distance between these two points, we're going to use the distance formula. Now, the distance formula um, is where we use Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to take our x values and to find the coordinates of this. We're going to use the point on this axis, which would be x and e to the x over 2. Okay, in doing so. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the distance formula by taking our one point, which is 2, 0. And the distance formula is the square root of, let me take this, um, we'll have x, right, minus 2 squared, plus then we'll take our y's, and it'll be e to the x divided by 2 minus 0, and then quantity squared. Um, when we have this, we'll have d equals, all right, um, square root of x squared uh, minus 4x plus 4, and then this right here plus is going to turn into e to the x, e to the x because it's a square root, um, which I have e to the x. Now from here, normally what we would do is um, solve this. So you go on your calculator now and find what is the minimum distance um, from there, and you would find your x value, and then once you find your x value, you can find your y value. Okay. What you can also do is you can take the derivative. Now, one thing to make this derivative easier, and I'll, I'll show this, all right, is we're going to take this derivative, d prime, um, and actually, if we square both sides, so we have d squared equals um, x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus e to the x. And we're going to take this derivative because we're going to find its critical points because critical points, all right, are when, in this case, d prime equals 0 or where it's undefined. Um, and that's where we're going to find our min or our max. In this case, we're going to find our location of our mins. So we're going to take this derivative. And we'll have 2d, all right, dd, dx. We really shouldn't write it like that, but we are um, using implicit. We have 2x minus 4 plus the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. Solving for this, we're going to solve for that. We have um, the derivative of the distance, dx, equals 2x minus 4 plus e to the x all over 2 times d, and we know we have our d value of x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus e to the x. Now, from here, we're going to set this equal to 0, um, and our value is we're looking for when this equals 0, and that's going to give us our value. So, um, what you normally would do um, is put this in your calculator and solve. You find your x value, and since you're looking for the coordinates, you would then plug it in to find your y. So, this was a little tutorial on how to solve an optimization problem that involves the distance between two points. A very common problem that you see. Um, so I hope this helps you out on how to set it up, how to find the derivative, and then gives you um, a little instruction on how to complete this problem. So find the zeros of this equation right here and plug it in to find the x, and then plug that x in to find e to the x over 2, which will give you your y. And that would be the coordinates that you're looking for. All right. Well, good luck and God bless in the rest of you.